After seeing this movie, I just see that Wes Anderson is definitely a dog person. Dogs, directed by Wes Anderson. This is a new stop motion animation film, his second one. His first one was The Fantastic Mr. Fox, and in this movie is set in Japan, and the area of Japan that this movie is set in is ruled by this corrupt mayor named Kobayashi, Mayor Kobayashi, and his area of Japan has an outbreak of dog flu, so he is so worried about the, the outbreak of dog flu that he decides to banish all the dogs in the area to this island that they use for trash, a landfill island. So all the dogs are sent there and his nephew Atari does not like the idea that his bodyguard dog spots, voiced by Lee Shaver, has been sent to this island so he decides to take a, a little airplane to the island to go find his dog and while he's there he meets up with these other five dogs Chief, Rex, Boss, Duke and King. There's this girl dog also that's on the island named Nutmeg so what happens is Atari, Chief and the other dogs decide to help the boy find his lost dog, Spots, and we have our stop motion animation film. Now, I like Wes Anderson. I think he's a wonderful director. I like his style, and I like Fantastic Mr. Fox. That movie was a great stop motion animation film. So when I heard he was doing this new one, Isle of Dogs, I thought, oh wow, this is great. The trailer looked very good, the dogs looked very cute in the movie, so I went to see it and I have to say this is a really good movie. I did like this movie. Brian Cranston is great as Chief. I did like him in the movie and I did like the boy that does the voice for Atari. I thought he was very good in the movie. The other voices that were in this film, we got Ed Norton doing the voice of Rex, Bill Murray does the voice of one of the dogs in the film, F. Murray Abraham does a voice of one of the dogs in the film, Jupiter. Jeff Goldblum provides the voice for another dog, Scar Johansson does the voice for the girl dog, Nutmeg. Bob Balaban does the voice for King. There is another female dog in the movie voiced by Cara Haywood. Greta Gerwing does the voice for this foreign exchange student in the movie. And you have Frances McDormand, who does the voice for the interpreter. She does the voice for the person that is translating the Japanese language for us. Harvey Keitel does a voice in the movie as well. And that's pretty much it for voice actors, I think. The stop motion animation in this movie looks really good. I saw a featurette on HBO that showed how the animation was done. And that featurette was really cool. It's just amazing how much hard work goes into stop motion animation and the attention to detail. It's one of the things that I like about stop motion animation and why I have such a respect for it. The story was done very well. I did like the connection that Atari has to to Chief in the movie. I thought that was done very well. I did like the other dogs in the film. I thought they were very funny in the movie. Scott Johansson was pretty good. There is an, a, a little bit of an implied romance between Chief and Nutmeg, but they don't do a good job of developing it because they only give two scenes to the romance. And then there's also an implied romance, or at least the foreign exchange student in the movie voiced by Greta Gerwing, she seems to have a crush on Atari and then later on Atari says that the foreign exchange student is cute but there really isn't anything developed between 
you know, as far as chemistry, really. There's also a fact that the human language, as far as the Japanese people, is done in mostly Japanese, and there are no subtitles within, the, within this movie. There's subtitles for the, the Japanese lettering that they show within the movie, but there's no subtitles for the Japanese spoken language. What they do instead is they have this interpreter interpret the Japanese language for us, which is voiced by Francis McDormand. I think a couple times they use subtitles, but for the Japanese language, but not all the time. So there was this, that bit of inconsistency within the movie. I am curious, once the Blu-ray comes out, if there will be subtitles when, when that comes out with the, with the uh, subtitle feature within the movie. But I did like this movie a lot, and I definitely think people should check this movie out. Just remember, this movie's not for kids. There are some adult themes within this movie. So I'm going to give this movie a B+. I definitely like this movie, and that's all i got to say for Isle Dogs.